So about 9.30 p.m., the Port St. Lucie Police Department responded to the 2600 block of Southwest Echo Road regarding a um, female that was shot multiple times. Officers arrived on scene at a neighbor's residence um, who happened to be um, law enforcement as well and basically found that the female had been shot multiple times in the arm, the thigh, and the chest. She was 42 years old. Apparently her and her former wife uh, were in a were divorced but currently living together still and we're discussing the fact that she needed to move out when the suspect 57 year old female uh, came out of the bedroom and fired multiple times at the female uh, striking her um, the suspect was taken into custody without incident uh, search warrant was executed on the search warrant um, on the residence and we did recover a nine millimeter handgun with several shell casings and some rounds of ammunition uh, the female victim was transported to Lawnwood Hospital with non-life-threatening, with life-threatening injuries, but she's now in stable condition. Yeah, I was going to ask, how is she doing right now? She's stable right now. She's stable right now. Thankfully, yes. And have these two had a history of domestic anything going on? Before? Nothing that we've had before. We've had some calls to the residents, but nothing domestic disturbance related. The suspect does have a prior history of domestic violence back in 2019, but that occurred outside our jurisdiction. Uh, with the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, so I don't have any information on that case. Now, we heard word, again, this isn't confirmed. Sure. Was she barricaded into the home when you guys got there? To my knowledge, maybe just initially, but it didn't turn out to be any type of SWAT call out or anything like that. Um, to my knowledge, she was taken into custody without incident. Okay, um, just because it looked like a lot of people were out there, you know, sure. why was there such a large response? Because when we first saw it, it looked like a big shooting. Yeah. And now it's just a domestic. I mean, it's going Well, to I mean, it's, it, it's a big call. I mean, anytime you have shots fired, you know, unknown suspect, you know, you don't know what the victims, you know, you got two different scenes going on because she went to a neighbor's residence. So we're treating that scene. Then you have the suspect pretty much still, although she's home at large, not in custody yet, still trying to collect okay. evidence. So. You know, a lot of things going on. It takes a lot of personnel. Pretty much when we get a call like that, it's all hands on deck. And why did she go to the neighbors? Just to get away from the suspect for, I mean, she just ran out of the house after she got shot and was looking for refuge. That's crazy. It is. It's crazy. It's, yeah, it's really, it's really sad. Um, and did you speak to the neighbor? I did not, no. I did not. I'm sure the detectives did and took statements. Um, this is the second shooting. In sure. Days. Yeah. I just covered the one yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what do you want to tell the public? You know, what are you feeling right now? Two shootings, two days. Yeah. What's running through your head? So there are, I'm thankful they're isolated incidents. You know, I mean, we do have random acts of violence that happen every so often, but most of the time it's people that know each other. This is a domestic violence isolated type of incident. Um, both cases I'm very happy that have been solved. We've made arrests in both of these uh, violent crimes. So although we've had some high profile incidents lately, they've all been pretty much resolved. And we're working very hard on the homicide that happened uh, the week uh, earlier, the end of July, um, or sorry, the end of August. And uh, you know, I think that's gonna have a successful conclusion. Our detectives are working very hard on those cases. So, you know, it's unsettling for it to happen because we are such a safe community, but you know, we are the safest large city in the state of Florida, but there is still crime that happens here. And I'm just thankful we have the officers and detectives here that, you know, solve these cases and bring people uh, into custody and to justice ultimately.